Hey, what is up YouTube? And in today's video, we are back yet again taking a look at another feature on the iPhone 10 being Animojis. Now in my review, I actually missed out on highlighting this new feature. And so today I figured I would make a quick little video demonstrating and showing off how Animojis work and what they look like. So, because of the same technology that Face ID uses, being the true depth camera in the iPhone X, Apple is able to create these animated emojis called Animojis that you can use in the iMessages app. You simply click the apps button and then navigate to the Animoji app, which it automatically defaults to if you haven't changed your preferences around yet. But as you can see, it is already beginning to track my face as I make different facial expressions throughout this video. So what's cool about these Animojis is you can actually actually send a 10 second video clip by clicking that record button there, it will record your voice and track your facial expressions. You can also edit in full screen mode which is my favorite just by swiping up on that tab there. Here you can now see all the different Animojis that are available and there are a total of 12. So the first one up in the top left is the monkey and preceding that we have the robot. Now as you'll see throughout me proceeding through these different Animojis, they animate themselves vastly differently based on what facial expressions you are performing. This cat for example is very animated and you can see a lot more detail compared to the robot that we previously just took a look at. And since we have a cat Animoji, there must be a dog Animoji, and here that one is. And I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of fun playing around with some of these Animojis. Some of the facial expressions that you would think these characters should do just come very natural to you, and it's just a lot of fun, and it's amazing to me of how many different facial like muscle groups that it tracks. So we have the alien, the fox now, the animations just look very nice and are very fluid and it's pretty amazing of how well it works. And of course, as shown off in the Apple Keynote, we have the poop Animoji. Next up we have the pig Animoji. There's one of a panda, there's also one of a bunny rabbit. But like I said, some of these Animojis are very animated and have a wide range of what they can do. It'd be hard to perform something like this on the robot Animoji because it just doesn't have that range. Second to last, we have the chicken Animoji, and this guy is actually a ton of fun as well. There have already been some viral videos on him, but very last up, we have the unicorn Animoji. So that is a look at all the 12 Animojis that are available in a little bit higher resolution for you guys. So to record Animoji, you just click the record button and then press it again to stop. And what's really cool is after you've recorded the Animoji, you can go back and change which one you want to use. And so you can kind of see which facial expressions work best on which Animoji. So this kind of gives off an example of what I was talking about earlier in the video. But once you are ready to send it, you just click the blue send button and it will create a video for you to send off to your friends. Now you can actually send this to people with Android or to people that don't have an iPhone 10 as it just sends a video file. Secondly, you can also create stickers with this guy. You can make a funny facial expression, tap and drag to wherever you want onto the conversation to create a sticker. And this can obviously be done with any emoji of your liking. Now, Animoji recordings are unfortunately only 10 seconds within the iMessages app, but if you want to record it for longer, you can easily head to the control center, start a screen recording, and then that captures your entire screen. If you go ahead and pop it up into the full screen mode to get a higher resolution of the Animoji, then you pretty much have an unlimited amount of time to record and create an Animoji expression. Anyway, this will just take a little bit extra effort as you'll have to go back into iMovie or some other video editing software and crop out the rest of the screen, but that does give you an alternative to go ahead and record a longer Animoji animation. And that, for any of you who are wondering, was the technique I used to go ahead and demonstrate all the different Animojis and put it up on a white background earlier in the video. Anyway guys, I hope you get to check this out for yourself. It's a lot more fun than I actually thought it was going to be when I first saw Craig give the demonstration of these guys on stage. I really never thought I would actually use this feature of the iPhone 10, but I'm not gonna lie, when using it in person, it's kind of amazing of how well it works, and it's a lot more fun than you would actually think. So like I said guys, I hope you get to try it out in person for yourselves. In the end, thank you guys so much for watching. That pretty much wraps up today's video covering Animojis for the iPhone 10. Please leave a comment down in the description of what your favorite Animoji is and what you guys really think of this new feature. Also as well, let me know down in the comments section what you guys are most interested to see regarding the iPhone 10, and I'll try my best to make a video on that topic. 
If you want to stay updated more often, don't forget to like my social media pages and don't forget to subscribe before you head out so you won't miss out on my coverage on the iPhone 10. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out. Thank you.